were not prepared. Okay, I guess the truth this guy could be board centric, but I don't believe we can really keep the Snowfall Guardian from now. Yeah. Yep. I, I was going to only keep the Air Stormer here. Oh. It's a little bit greedy, but if this guy is board centric, whatever this guy is, if the Air Stormer pops on turn uh, two or three, that's going to be huge for us. So. Oh, okay. We can hold on to it. Okay, yeah. Okay, you got Expelliant, so there's the chain. Okay. Turn one would be great. None of those, but I'm not sad seeing the Guardian again. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not, never sure about Arid Stormer since it's so. It is a very good card. It's not going to be as good because this guy's a Kazakhstan or Amdrid, probably. Oh, uh, yeah. But still, it's a pretty, pretty decent free drop. Like, it's four damage on turn three, so pretty good. Well, still, yeah, number one. Yeah. We should be fast enough against this guy. Yeah, hopefully, because this will be the first time we're facing Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Because hmm. uh, it only came out recently, and I haven't played against it yet. Really? Damn. Like, okay. The first few days, that's the only thing I've been playing against. Well, they, everybody likes to get on the bandwagon. I would just put out the Aristarmor because of the chain. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay, let's see. This Good is. Amount of pressure. I'm going to put it here. Cage match is next. You got two of those, brother. <laughs> okay. Well, use a lot of resources to deal with that, so I would say that was a worth keep. I'm gonna put cage match. Just get my elementals start discounting. And then... So granite force more, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, granite. Yeah. Sorry, granite. Okay. Um, play that. Sad druid noises. Now here, whoa. Okay, Macaw just to discount, use a, a Granite's Battle Cry and then Gyrum to hit face. So And you can also play a Zero Mana Custodian too. So yeah, it's not a bad play. Let's go with Macaw. Okay. See, you're not bad at Macaw. <laughs> well, <laughs> give me time. I'll... Now, um, should I... Play the cage match first. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh. It's not with Boner this time, so it's not okay. like it used to be. Um, yeah, just go face custodian. Yeah, I'm gonna put. Let's see, big in the middle. And that's his squelch. They, I don't he like them. It. I don't like emotes. Oh. Okay, acceptable. Main crate. That's, that's not our only game plan, so it's fine. Okay, well, the oh. hammer and gyro in his face. Swing with the hammer as well. Yeah, okay. It's gonna be awesome if the primal dungeon here pulls your rock biter. Yeah. Got to ten damage. Ah, uh, sucks. Um, curve. Uh, Fine, not a big deal yet. Uh, he's gonna. <clears throat> and I finally learned how Kazakasan works, where he fills his deck, where he picks five cards to put into his deck. Yeah, he replaces his deck with oh, two just copies of those five cards. <gasps> Oh, it, it deletes the rest of his deck? Yeah, it deletes it. So it, oh. it can be pretty good against uh, 
in the wild, I guess, bomb warrior, for instance, but maybe you weren't around for that when that was a thing. Yeah. Uh, no, it's good against the new card, Agony, but that's not really meta right now. But if it ever becomes one, uh, that is a good way to deal with stuff like that, because you replace your deck. Uh, Primal Engineer would be lethal if you get Rockbiter, so that's a 50-50 lethal right now. Okay. It has to be two mana. Frack. Well, we'll get him. Um, play the Aerith Stormer first, or actually, if we want to fit in a Hero Power, play Kindling first. Okay. Stormer on the left side, Hero Power, and go face with everything. Save the win three. Let him have to worry about that. That's it. Don't kill. Hmm. What is he gonna buff? Or, oh, Arbor. Fine, but if he gives Wind Cure, that's not gonna be fine. No, can't be. This game, easy life. Wait, he's counting. Are you? <laughs> Figure that out. He's not using deck tracker. Okay. Oh. Still, this is a fun. This is a fun deck. It's not. Yeah. yeah. Shannon versus Shannon. What do you think we do? Uh, I would call this a full dump. Let me. Yeah. Let me look at something. I'm not sure if you're gonna. It is a full dump for sure, though. Why? Well, as well. Macaw sixty-five percent. Canal Slog is fifty-seven going down. Snowfall is fifty-four going down. I don't know if you can see my screen, because I'm in. Oops. Because, you know, right during the mulligan on the bottom right, it says, uh, what should I play? And you can click that, and it will show you this this deck and its, um, its percentages. It gives you the... The free stats, not the premium ones, so it's not super accurate. Anyway, Wailing Vapor is happening here. Okay, here I will play Wailing and then Kindling. Exactly. See, so you're an astral with this deck. <laughs> yeah, complicated my ass. Well, well, Fireheart. It's, it, it's all Fireheart. I mean, she is a complicated card. Like, uh, it's not only it's not only a problem for you. It's it's hard for to coach with it because she gives so much random shit. Yeah. So I like this better. Now I could go okay. into overload just to get a six four on board, or I could just cage I'm match. Considering it. it honestly, but I feel this guy is. Uh, Burn Shannon, and Lifesteal might come in handy soon. So, uh, Cage then Magic. Again, yeah, I think you curve out with Canal Slogger here. We're going to be the aggressor. Okay. No Canal Slogger. Oh, can, uh, I'm making the whole argument okay, that we're okay. the aggressor, a.k.a. drop the biggest, baddest thing we can. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Because the more I think about it, we can't drop it next turn either, because that's going to overload for Custodian's Doomhammer, so this way the order feels better. Okay. you got to be able to manage your overloads, so you know how to, which one feels better when. Okay. Okay, what do you want to do here? Okay, uh, I mean, Canal Slayer can hit into that Snowfall just, to, I mean, into the uh, Staggard. Uh, but right now, Primal would at least draw something first. And then Canal just to Why kill. Why is that not that good, though? What are you going to do on turn five? Hmm. Yeah, I actually only have. 
That is why we want to draw our 5 mana weapon right now and next turn play it. And we're only going face here, you cannot straight up his staggers over and over again. It's gonna be free of them, so... The problem is he can freeze our face. But, uh... Mm, I think this turn it is going face for us. Heavy king, okay. Okay. Hmm. It is risky. Because if you have a way to deal with this for free, we're not going to be happy about it. The problem with the weapon is... He's going to freeze our face and we won't be able to swing. Yeah. Fucking hell, he is going to freeze our face, isn't he? Huh? No, he didn't. Okay. Yeah, well, at least we get to connect a little. Um... So, get in my doom hammers and... I could kill... I could kill with Doomhammer the three Sleep Breaker first, and then the Stagger second. I'd be frozen, but I'd get two of his things off. I wonder. Might not be a bad idea. Okay. Um. Yep. Yeah. Okay. This was the one two. I remember I was watching Sunday, you were coaching a young guy, but he hadn't had any much sleep, so he kept uh, Yeah. And what's his name? Link or something like that? Yeah, Link. <laughs> had a good run with him, like three hours Diamond 5 Legend, we take those any day. Yeah, I uh, wish Shadow I was... Shadow Priest is just so fast. I wish I was young enough to what have that hell? stamina, but the one time we did three hours, that yeah, was just too much for me. <laughs> yeah. That ain't well. The problem is it's yeah. not even gonna be playable. I mean, uh, just we sleep. go with the free mana primal dungeon here because mm -hmm. the sleep breaker wind chill is still gonna be free mana because of the frost bite he did two okay. years ago. Okay. I'm... Okay. Now, do I kill his totem or just hit face? There is an argument for just going face here just because we need to land plus three attack twice on the doom hammer and that's gonna be lethal in that case but the problem is we have a 6-1 on the board which he's just gonna poke with that totem instead so maybe you trade sure and depending on the board state we might decide to go with snowfall guardian ourselves freezes our face before he forgets i think he has a snowfall guardian himself no? Okay, well, then, yeah. Not that bad. Yeah. All right. Uh, we can put some big, I mean, we don't have the elements chain, but we could get both a 6-4 and a 2-5 on board. Isn't there a better thing we can do this turn, though? Well, I mean, Snowfall could just freeze everything. What do we want to freeze right now? The 8-8. Eight, eight. Exactly. Don't you have a better way of freezing it? Oh, wind chill and... Sleep breaker. Oh, sleep yeah, let's breaker. let's do the sleep breaker. Okay. Freeze it for free mana. Mm -hmm. And then hero power? Or, oh, Kindle. Mm -hmm. Hero powering is not a good idea here just because the Snowfall Guardian is gonna board lock us eventually. Oh. If we keep on putting small minions, and I'm not even sure if the kindling element was worth it in that case. Oh, so we just pass. I think you just pass so you don't get completely board locked. Okay. Then again, maybe we should have baited him into thinking we're board locking just because we have so much damage from hand. He doesn't have a way to freeze our face right now. And he's at yeah, 11. Do. He's at 11 health. Exactly. We have 16 from hand. GG. Okay. You're in symbol, just how we like it. I can guarantee you face hunter is a lot more complicated back than this. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> 
Well, th yeah, this is a better. Like so, without Fireheart, this is a better deck. Uh, mm, it's not a better deck. It's a lot more straightforward deck now. Well, that's that's like, what Fireheart is like. It's a one card that literally gives you a gajillion cards. It's it's good in in situations where you're out of cards. Like uh, if you're against something controlly and they keep on removing whatever you do, eventually Fireheart can actually win you games like that. But she is indeed a hard card to, to play efficiently with under pressure. Well, you we just drop the hammers here and one and three are perfect. Okay. That's your best two drop right there. Yeah, yeah, once the kindling can, yeah, mm -hmm. gives it the option to come out early. Pretty good. All right, nice kindling. Fish. Yeah, I'm getting away. Another druid. A lot of, a lot of druids. Yeah, everybody's having fun with Kazakhstan. Yeah. Oh. Now, gyr usually I only use Gyrworm to eliminate a minion. I'd rather play Arid Storm. I thought you. Huh? That is how you should be using it, as I thought you. Okay, so Aaron Stormer here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Aaron Stormer is Tempo. Jaya Worm is Smork. Like, it would also be Tempo if we didn't have Aaron Stormer, but yeah. in this particular case, Aaron Stormer is just a lot better because it uh, forces the opponent to actually remove it unless he wants to get that damage over and over again, which he will. Now here I could coin just to keep the not use gyworm yet, just sleep breaker, maybe coin out another sleep breaker. Mm -hmm. And preserve Arid Starmer for later. It's not the worst thing in the world, just your reasoning is a little bit off. <laughs> it's not a bad idea to drop Gyreworm as is right now because uh, this guy is not board centric, so you're not actually gonna get the value of getting a free trade like that. Oh. But uh, in terms of tempo, I do believe the two sleep breakers are better. Okay, so here we go. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, and we still have the chain going. Elemental, so that's good. Oh. And Ooh, nice. nice. He's trying to oh, ramp. Just better now. Okay, uh usually granite is good just to start discounting everything I have. It's just the best thing we can do right now. It's mana efficient, doesn't overload you, and it discounts three of your cards in hand as is, so yeah, it's perfect. Oh. Yeah, now let's see if Kazaku's son is gonna... Uh, I'll drop the wealth. No. Oh, okay. that just means he can go up to 20 mana, but... But he won't. Yeah. Okay. He's taking face damage. See how good this uh, Tempo Air Stormer is? Like, this Tempo Air Stormer has dealt 8 damage so far. Now. now it's going to be 10 damage. No, it's 8. Okay, what do you do? Uh, Gyrworm and Rockbiter. I don't want to windshield anything that can attack. So I don't want to be wasting Rockbiter without the weapon unless it's literally lethal damage for you. So for now, I think it's Gyrworm and maybe Canal Slogger. I'm not sure about the Canal Slogger just because if this guy has the... Uh, whelps again, it's gonna be kind of sad. How much yeah. damage can he remove with the whelps? Well, Three still... Going to this, four, five, six, seven... One thing survives, probably just gonna be a one-two. Okay. I think you go with Gyroworm Face and Canal Slugger for the tempo again. Okay, all right. Let if me... he had the whelps, he would have played them last turn, I feel. Yeah, quickly. Yeah. Oh my god, that worry. Yeah, it's down to six health. Okay. So that looks good. 
That changes quickly for Druid, but yeah. I think we are in a good spot. Narian more to stabilize for him, or this, or this. Okay, what does this do? So, Gain eight armor. Yeah, it's a lot. Let's wind chill him first, so we see if we can draw something. Draw something for next turn. Oh. Uh, do. Oh. Don't have lethal, do we? It's never lethal. No. 14. Uh, wind chill him again. Okay. Wind chill again. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, faith. I can... It's not enough. Played a one mana, a zero mana wailing vapor. Okay. Uh, gyre worm the eight eight. Oh. Two mana gyre worm the eight eight. Uh, the free twos kill it. The free two and the free two. And the right one. Kamal, Slogger, and everything face. I mean, uh, Cage Master Custody and everything face. Face, 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 go face. Okay. Twice. Good. Okay. Okay. That was good. That was complicated, but that was good. Mm -hmm. Okay, again, the chip's done more armor. Please, low roll. That's not a low roll. That is kind of a low roll. I think we have it. We should be having it. One, two, trade the Divine Shield. Six, four, kills the six, six. Six, six four. four on the board. Six, oh, four on okay. the board. Okay, let me. Not the one you're hovering. Uh, Doomhammer into Rock Biter is lethal. <laughs> ah. Take a solid. Yeah, it is. Okay, I think we have time for maybe two, a couple, yeah. Okay. okay. Couple of more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I have to admit those last two turns were complicated. Uh, the host... Well, they were complicated just because Druid did complicated things against us and he got lucky with them too. Um, they weren't that complicated. I mean, if you were on your own, you would probably figure it out. But no. they were intense turns, so I had to jump into it instantly, so we have to, have to execute everything exactly the way it should have been executed. Yeah, this is yeah, strange. This is just the perfect hand. Yeah, I'm looking at the chart, that free one. They're keeping Wailing, they're keeping Primal, and they're dumping Cage. cage you were never dumping Cage Master Custodian. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. Okay, yeah, I guess that isn't a good chart. It's a... It's a good guideline, but it's not something you should completely rely on. Like, you should ask yourself what your turns are looking like, and right now, this was an obvious 1 2 free play. Yeah. And you can start doing it. This guy is going to be a ping mage, which uh, means we're going to have a hard time dealing on the boards for too long, especially with a, top, with a turn one like that for him. Yeah, I'm going with the. The custodian still just because he's gonna ping down whatever the hell we drop at two health anyway. Might as well draw a card we actually want right now. Okay. We might even use the macaw for card draw with uh, Primal Dungeoneer. That's probably gonna be the smartest thing we can do. Okay. It's still Primal Dungeoneer. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to... I mean, technically speaking, we could go with the two elementals just so we can stick as much damage as we can while we're on the board, but it's... I don't know. I feel this is just better. Okay. Yeah, Primal Dungeon here. And space again. We 
I think we're only going phase, possibly. You're gonna be the one doing this. Yeah, phase. my notes against mage is. It's, yes, smart they face. They change from time to time, but right now, I do believe it's correct just to be yeah. focusing on the face area. Yeah, smart face against mage. That's my main note. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What do you think is going to be the correct play in this case? Okay, well, normally I would just play Granite just to start a discount okay, stuff. Okay, but why is that not correct in this situation? He's got a two damage. Oh, well, his hero power, along with the sorceress, could kill off the Granite. But that's a lot of resources. All in all, this guy controls the board very hard, so us trying to stick on the board is not something we should really be focusing on. We should be focusing on, on getting all of the good damage. So right now you go with Brilliant Macaw so you can draw another nature spell which amplifies your weapon damage. And you can still drop the Wailing Vapor to give him something to fool around with while we are doing our own thing. Oh. Yeah. Play it up. Just go face again. Oh, don't. I don't have to. No, 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 let him do the stupid things. Would have been nice if we had the second rock ladder here because our turn six is gonna only have four mana since we overloaded, so we could have fit in two rock biters instead of only one, but it is what it is. We could just curve out with a sleep breaker instead. Yes, we got a sleep breaker. I can't take and why we do not care about the board. He has stupid stuff like this. That is why the board is an illusion. Well, cute, but not cute enough. Do hammer away. Okay. And just hit face with everything. Yep. I see nothing but a face. There is also an add-on from the same place you got your auto squelch add-on that uh, covers the entire board and only leaves you with the with the face visible. Oh, what? <laughs> it's a stupid add-on, but it's an add-on number. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to figure out why someone would do that. Yeah. I okay. did. I did notice a lot of streamers are using uh, um, Firestone. And yeah, yeah. Fire Stone, and it shows you the order. It has little numbers by which cards you played in what order, like one, two, three. Yeah, it actually has some uh, pretty, pretty interesting features. I might have to switch over to that at some point. Like, I'm pretty invested in the HS Deck Tracker, but Firestone feels like a better app at this point for so many reasons. <laughs> okay, um, I still think you go uh, Sleet Breaker and Rock Biter your face. Okay. Space. Okay, we're getting him into lethal range. And we have 16 damage for next turn, so good luck with that, Meiji. Magic. That ain't it. With this one, friend. Show him both the storm strikes. Oh, <laughs> to hit his minions? Yeah. And face. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know. <laughs> He needed to know it wasn't even close. This was not a race he could have won. I feel like we would have won the game even if we went for the board centric approach, but this is just knowing the matchup, you know? Knowing the matchup allows us to pick the favorable game plan so that we can actually accelerate our win conditions, you know? Okay. It's literally what we did, accelerating the uh, the win for us with choosing the proper 
win condition to go for. Yeah, Looks like the cans had enough support to go for board centric as well, even though he did have some good removals, but he could have had even better removals. Like, uh, they do have a lot of removal going into that deck, and if you just focus building boards that he can just remove, that's just giving him time to actually gain armor, actually gain a ton of damage as well, so that is why we decided to close the game nice and fast. Oh, okay. What do you want to do here against the warrior? Um, the granite and the whaling vapor I, would, I was keeping, mm -hmm. but I was dumping the other two. Yeah, I think that was the proper choice here. And I'm going to... This guy a control Kazakh on the warrior. That was going to really suck. Uh, yeah. Man, it feels like he is, because he is not quest. Nobody's quest anymore, it feels. Oh, let's see. Quest fire warrior. I still have, have faith in. It's, it's not a bad deck, but everybody's on... Uh, like, when the deck gets nerfed, everybody forgets about it real quick. They are going to remember about it in a couple of weeks again, but until then, it's going to have a very low popularity. And right now, I'm depending on uh, you to tell me the match and what the game plan for matches are. Cause the I game still... plan is pretty, pretty sad. It's a control deck. They gain a shit ton of armor. They have every removal ima imaginable. And they also run Bulwark in this deck, and that is horrible for us because we don't have too many cheap ways of poking his face. Uh, we'll, we'll give it the good old try. Yeah, Wailing Vapor, I guess. Gonna be curving off until then. We'll let him fool around with our stuff. Not amazing fighting for the board for now, but uh, this is the these are the turns where we can actually connect some damage with the minions. So I guess you coin out Eric Stormer. Okay. And we should feel okay about it. It should be sticking for a turn. Let's give us one extra damage here. The problem with the deck we're facing is they literally have every single type of removal. They can remove big single targets, small single targets, small white board, big white board, like literally every single uh, removal in the game right now. I'm not even exaggerating, it's exactly what it is. Yeah. Anyway, Primal Dungeon, here goes. Okay. Connect for a good amount. This is going to be one of the highest damage turns we've had. And we will be having. Yeah, right now, he can go with two mana and gain 10 armor into the zero mana, deal five damage to every minion on the board. <laughs> that is just one of the huge removals they can do. Oh, okay. Not... He could just Blade Storm leaving us with only an Eric Stormer or Blade Storm plus two damage on the Eric Stormer. He could brawl if he is if his heart desires. He can just couple words to two five. Like so many things. Mm. But so far we're doing good. So far we're doing good. Okay. Yeah. He's considering his options. Okay. Oh, that is just one of them. But that's good because he didn't have any armor right now, so he actually doesn't gain the full benefit of that card. Okay, I'm not, not sure he was aware he wasn't getting the benefit, but he wasn't. Mm -hmm. Problem is we do not have a good way to deal with it right now, but... Storm, storm Strike and Hero Power would kill... I mean, Storm Strike would kill it. I mean, I would hit it and my hero would kill it, but I'm going to float a mana. I could freeze it. I think I'm okay with that. In the grand scheme of things, I'm okay with that. Okay. Technically, we are missing the plus three damage that way, but effectively, we are removing five damage worth of damage right now for him. Because mm -hmm. getting through with eight damage so we can connect with our boards, I think that was pretty okay. 
Yeah. Usually you don't really want to be wasting Storm Strike like that, but this was a pretty fine example of a time. It's actually pretty fine to do it. This guy's oh, playing yeah. off the bad so far. Like, yeah, it almost feels like I've exaggerated how OP his deck is against ours. Oh, unfortunately, like, I I'll imagine know. choosing that one to trade. Like the other one, gross. Yeah, the, the the other one's an elemental. Like, what the fuck? Unfortunately, I still don't have a chain unless I play a sleep breaker to get the chain going again. I think a Sleep Breaker is not a bad idea. Okay. Sleep Breaker and Freeze the Free Six. Okay. We are ignoring it. Oh. Okay. I'm not sure if we want to be dropping the second Sleep Breaker just because he can Rancor them and that gives him plus four armor, but I think it's okay. You can do it. Sleep Breaker again and go face with the rest. Oh. I mean, your a totem white might be taunt. Sleep breaker. Okay. Why? Why do you need taunt? You're not afraid of getting hit. You are afraid of getting removed. Okay. We're never hero baron here. That's just extra two armor for him because he does run rancor, four mana, deal two damage to everything, gain armor for everything you kill. You're oh. never hero baron. Huh? There's that brawl we talked about. Well, the odds favor me. Sorry, pretty low. Pretty low. Nice. The Good. little, the little elemental that could. Four eight. So that's lethal. Fire L. Wait. That's that's lethal. No, it's not. It's one off. Yeah. But uh, with rock biter gyro worm, that would be lethal. Easy. Kindling elemental also helps. Yeah, so Kindling, Gyro Worm, Rock Biter, GG. Oh. Kindling. You could even give the Rock Biter to your attacking elemental. <laughs> so wish. Yeah, give it. The little elemental that could. You stuck around from turn one. Control <laughs> this, you feel casual. Huh. Well, he did not have the removal, luckily, that warrior normally has. He did! He just didn't use it very well, did he? No. Just well, about... well, this that was, was a... That was very weird. This was a good session. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I got the therapist coming for my wife in about 15 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, yeah, the deck is just solid. It's not too complicated. It has obvious game plans. The complicated part is turn planning, especially for your overload. Like a few times you were thinking about doing the better play on the turn we were, but that left you with a horrible play for the following turn. And that is why it is okay for you to choose the little little bit less perfect current play so you can actually have a great play on the next turn as well instead of a good play into a horrible play kind of deal mm -hmm. so managing your overloads and your card draw for that matter like your card draw is exact you are always drawing the exact cards uh from uh custodian and from primal dungeoneer technically like primal dungeoneer always draws you one of your two nature spells one is two mana the other one is free like the rock biter and the storm strike the elementals are random but we're not really doing it for the elementals a lot of the time you're doing it so you can get the nature spells in hand ready for the doom hammer okay. so yeah the real skill with this deck comes down to uh, efficiently and quickly uh closing in to your game plan like setting up tier five doom hammer uh, usually means that you are closing the game on turn seven if you have properly prepared. Like if you've drew, if you've drawn the nature spells, it should be easy for you to close the game on seven just because it's like a ton of damage, like 16 damage usually should be on turn seven. And that's usually more than enough to chip down the opponent. So yeah, turn planning and managing your overload and card draw is what you should concentrate on uh really really concentrating it when doing it like really ask yourself not only what are you doing this turn but what are you doing the next turn and with how much mana the the how much mana part is the really really hard part like it's it's hard to keep track
for both of those things. Overload is one of the weirdest mechanics uh, to have to play with, but you did see, like, we literally only lost a single game, and the one we lost was actually giga unlucky for us as well.